Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to this video, which is going to be the first of the final reviews or critiques that I have for the spring 2022 anime season. The first of all of them finally wrapped up. So we can talk about it. And that one is Aransan Wa Hake Renai. Or Aaron is indecipherable. And it was quite a lovely show, I will say. If you remember way back at the beginning when I talked about it, it was kind of like a, you know, a little bit of a comedy slice of life thing. You know, just two guys, not two guys, two, uh, two people focusing around Rido, the guy with the serious face on the, the left there, and Aaron, the, the small girl on the right there to uh our classmates and kind of get along and do stuff you know and uh the whole thing centered around Aaron. she is a, a quiet person so she gets like really close to people to talk to them and because of this because she doesn't know how to like judge distance how close she has to be to someone to like you know properly talk to them and all that uh she ends up not having friends know a lot of friends in middle school and all that you know so in high school she wanted to have more friends or whatever and so their their stuff starts when Rido and her become friends and then they have like a basically you know the usual school life kind of thing and this uh, anime it only covers their first year in high school so there is plenty of extra like room for them to grow and stuff like that and it goes over like all this comedy stuff and oh, it has like their relationship start to grow a little bit as well you know it does have some romance in it near the end so if you're looking for that it's got it too and it's all cute there's like no drama in fact this anime is uh, tagged with a theme called uh yashikai i think i pronounced that correctly uh, essentially it, it means healing um, and it's, it's used to refer to anime or manga that heal the audience by instilling a calm feeling or evoking emotional uh, catharsis. Um, so yeah, it's, it's all about like peaceful, mundane stuff that's like kind of just you know, chill and happy and you know, not any drama and stuff involved. So it's, it's really nice and good at doing that. It's got cute moments, but also for me, it had some cringe moments that I was like, uh, let's just skip that. And... Uh, happened a couple of times for me honest i don't like the whole like secondhand embarrassment kind of thing you know so i'll just like skip around a bit sometimes when i see that kind of stuff when there's like certain scenes sort of get to me i'll just be like yeah i'll just go ahead and skip that thank you and then continue from there but yeah this one was quite good like i said it's just mainly about these two hanging out having fun their everyday life um, them getting to like know each other in the beginning it, it's mainly about Rido trying to like communicate properly with Aaron because she uh you know is soft spoken and whatnot so they do all this like gimmicky stuff to try and like um make it so they can communicate better like there's one example uh he gets a bow and arrow so that she can try to fire like arrows at him that have notes attached and that's their way of communicating but it, it does not work well um but there's like a couple episodes like that at the beginning and then as they you know learn to communicate um uh, in the middle stuff develops a little more and then at the end they you know finally come to full bloom kind of thing like that as one would say now i don't know if there would be a, another season for this show just because of the content i mean it's a slice of life they can literally do like anything that they want, but I don't know. If there is a second season, would I watch it? Eh, probably not. It wasn't really all that engaging to me. It was a cool show to watch, don't get me wrong, and it was really the only one that I watched on uh, Fridays when it came out. So there was like something to do, something to watch for me, you know. But in terms of would I watch another season? No, probably not. It didn't really grip me enough to warrant me being like, heck yeah, another season, you know? 
So even if they do have another season, which I don't think that there's going to be, there's been no mention of it. Uh, you know how some anime have like to be continued at the end or whatever. I didn't have that. It, like didn't even really have credits at the end. It just like had like a final scene that was kind of cute, and then it just like ended, just video ended essentially. You know, and that was fine. Um, it ended properly, so it does not really need a second season. Everything was hunky dory and Gucci and all that. But uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. So if you're looking for something, you know, chill, something that'll, you know, heal your soul a little bit, make you be like, oh, that's cute. That's cool. This is your show. So go ahead and check it out. And, and like I said, this is going to be the first one of the, the rest of the season that's coming out. And as the shows wrap up, I'll be talking about them. Uh, this is the first one to hit episode 12 and the end. So there are a couple that are going to be like, 24 episode ones, it looks like. So those won't be talked about for a while. But I think for the other, like, I think there's like nine other ones that are going to end within the next week or two. I'll be talking about them. Uh, but yeah, it's been fun. Anyway, look forward to the next ones as they come out. And until the next video, I will catch you all later. For now.